surrounded. Release the hostages and come out with your hands up. You want me to release him? Okay, pig. I'll release him. Where the hell is that SWAT? Somebody get an ambulance over there now. Okay, pig. Have I got your attention? I want to talk to somebody in charge. You got five minutes. Well, I'm going to release another hostage. <laughs> five minutes! <laughs> Sir, you'll have to back up. CIA. Where's your CO? He's right down there. All the commotion. Who the hell are you? Special Agent Graver, CIA. Look, we don't need any feds around here. I got the situation completely under control. Yeah, I can see you really have things under control here. So fill me in. What do we got? I don't have to tell you anything. I'm still in charge here. This is a government facility that gives me jurisdiction. If you like, we can call the mayor right now to verify. It's your call. All right, all right. We got at least five armed suspects, possibly terrorists. Evidently, they were in the process of ripping off the place when a security guard stumbled on them. We think they're holding four hostages. What a mess. Look, what in there is so valuable that the CIA wants to get involved? That's confidential. Hey, Thanks. wait a minute, where the hell are you going? I'm gonna have a little chat with our friends. Are you crazy? Get back here. Attention, everybody in the building. This is Officer Graver. I'm unarmed. You're coming, coming in. in. Come on up, pig. I'll be here. say this once. I want a helicopter fully fueled. Now. Anybody tries any shit, another hostage gets it. All right. Just out of curiosity, why did you have to kill him? <laughs> to prove a point. Now get out. Bring me the chip. So, what'd you find out? What do they want? They want a one-way ticket out of here, and I'm gonna give it to them. something, Mr. Terrorist. Why would your boss, Victor Mahler, want to break into a top-secret government building? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit! You just killed an innocent man. rest of your stinking life rotting in a miserable prison you better start telling me what I want to know I ain't saying nothing I know my rights I want a lawyer
are gathered here today to pray for our dearly departed. Yes, yes, Lord. To beseech your mercy, Lord, for our poor brother Gregory. Yes, Lord. He was a sinner. A man of many weaknesses. A man who over the years went from one wrong to another. He was a pimp. Right. Sold women up and down the street. He was a pusher. Sold dope, marijuana, sold even press cocaine to little school children. That was our brother Gregory. He was a murderer, Lord. Shot people down like ducks on a pond. That was also Brother Gregory. But you know, Lord, I knew this man. Amen. And deep down, Lord, deep, deep down, I know his soul was good. That's why I'm begging you, Lord. I'm begging you to allow him into your heavenly kingdom. Show us a sign, Lord. Show us that you have heard our heavenly God, Padre, because now you're going to meet him.
to see all your years on the force haven't affected your lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> you ruined a perfectly good dream, you know. Uh, not that dream with you and Miss September again. No, oh, actually, this one starts your mama. You realize she was so kinky, but of course she had your ass. Another rough night, Detective? Christ, how can you drink that stuff? Good way to start the day. Should try it sometime. Oh, no thanks. All units 415 in progress. Gunshots report at 3000 block of Wilmot and Annex. Any available units respond? Well, we're on. Hey, maybe I ought to drive. You don't look so good. Just buckle up. That's how you get your kicks, huh? Kinky, kinky! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Court of law. So, did you find anything? Well, she's got three different names. Oh, Joe, that's brilliant. She's got three different passports. a regular James Bond. So what's the deal? I ran all three names. Zip, zero, nothing. According to the computer, she doesn't even exist. Did they find anything else in the van? Just these. Murphy. Murphy, the brass is breathing down my neck on this one, so I'm not happy. And if I'm not happy, your life is miserable. Now, Murphy, I want you to get some answers for me soon. Now, come back here. Murphy! 
Let's try it one more time. What is your name? The body. I mean, what did you want with the body? Christ's sake, man, we gotta be here all night long. Hey, Murph. Maybe she doesn't speak English. Well, maybe you got something there. Polly vous Francais? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Come on, lady, this is BS. You know exactly what I'm saying. So why don't you drop the act and talk to me? Maybe we ought to just beat it out of her. Oh, wouldn't I love to? But you probably like it. Hey, look, sweetheart, maybe I better spell this thing out for you. I got five dead cops and a dead priest. Now, I don't know what your thing is, but if you don't come clean and talk to me, you're gonna go down for the whole thing. A oh, badass, huh? Gotta be a badass, huh? Why does it always gotta be the hard way? Take a down booker, printer, and get her the hell out of my face! Forgetting you're now a married man? Oh, you're married, yes, but I'm not blind. I'm not blind, for God's sake. Well, she doesn't look so tough now, does she? Well, you're a little kinky. You should enjoy this. I told Nessim to go extra hard on it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. operative procedure. You can't handle this. Maybe I can talk to somebody else. Somebody else around here? No, buddy, you're talking to the right man. You just don't understand. It ain't no way in hell she's walking out of here. Let me try to explain this to you. I got a church that's shot to hell. I got a priest with enough lead in him, he could sink a ship. I got five police officers down. Dead. You got that five police officers. Not to mention two fried terrorists, and you come waltzing in here with your standard operative procedure and your fancy suit, and you think you're gonna take the best lead that I got out of here? It ain't no way in hell that's gonna happen, buddy. Look, <clears throat> you're not understanding something, okay? This is a government operation. She's government property now. 
Look, buddy, I want your name and your badge number. Somebody's going to hear about this. Special Agent Mark Graver, security number 061321. Now, I'm going to pick her up in the morning. You have a nice day. Uh-oh. You got that look in your eye again. Yeah, what look is that? That I won't be happy till I kick somebody's ass look. Yeah, well, you got that right, buddy. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our humble embassy. As a charitable member of the diplomatic community, Mr. Mahler will donate $100,000 to the charity of your choice. In our native country, victory is the ultimate achievement, and failure equivalent to death. Our host will award the winner a purse of $25,000. Gentlemen, begin. you could come, and I hope this small token of mine will in some way further your cause. You are most generous, Mr. Muller. Call me Victor, and you know it's nothing, really. I contribute to many charitable organizations. It's, um, it makes me feel good inside. <laughs> but you must pardon me now. I have other business to attend to. Please, eat, drink, and uh, enjoy the entertainment. Your idea of uh, entertainment seems to be a bit unusual. In my country, we thrive on the competitive spirit. But now you must excuse me. something to tell me. It's not my fault. Cops came out of nowhere. I barely got out alive. I don't want to hear that. Where is my microchip? We didn't get it. It's still in the body. And what of Alexa? I don't know. I think the cops got her. You incompetent fool! I give you a simple task and you fuck it up! 
If you weren't my own brother, I... I should have sent Alexa alone. Don't worry, Victor. The cops will never find the chip unless Alexa talks. She'll never talk. She'd die before she'd betray me. Of course she would. I want that chip. I want it now. Don't come back without it. You got it. Well, not so fast, little brother. You fucked up. You know what that means. Wait a minute. You can't. Not to your own flesh and blood. Sorry, Max. I won't be accused of favoritism. How would that look? Please, Victor, don't. I'll give you a choice. Your tongue or your eye. It's up to you. No, please, no! I were you, I'd go with the eye. You always have another one. No, no, no! You know you've been followed. I was wondering how long it would take you to notice. Don't even think about it. If you behave yourself, I'll take off your cuffs. How about it? Follow me. with your approval. 
And you can relax now. Freshen up. Take a bath. There's clothes in the closet you can change. And if you need anything else, we'll know. So you could cut the silent treatment. I know all about you. Surname unknown. Approximate age, 24. 12 known aliases. Parents deceased. No known living relatives. Born in Yugoslavia. Educated in the United States. Specializing in counterintelligence, espionage, terrorism. Expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons, demolition. Believed to have been involved in the overthrow of the Angolan government in September 1988. Led Cambodian revolt 1989, remember that? Terrorist bombing Philippines 1986. Currently in the employ of one Victor Mahler, a small-time psychopath making a play for the big leagues. I'm impressed. I was just getting to that. Mahler has been a thorn in our side for quite some time now. We know who he is and what he does. Unfortunately, certain legalities, his status with our government, diplomatic immunity prevents us from stepping in. Good evening, Stephen. We're right here. We can't get close to him. We need somebody on the inside. Our sources tell us that he's trying to obtain certain information that would make him a threat of global proportions, a nuclear threat. Now, we have no intention of letting that happen. That's where you come in. Well, then I suppose this is the part where you offer me a million dollars of complete immunity from prosecution, if I cooperate, right? No. We're going to let you live. How are you making out with our guest? Not much progress to report, ma'am. We need more time. She's a tough broad. Time is one thing we don't have, Graver. And that broad is our only link to Mahler. Everyone has a weakness, a flaw, something that can be exploited. You gotta find that something rare. Whatever it takes, whatever you have to do, just do it. I don't care if you have to beat her, drug her, or sleep with her, just do it. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Oh, and Graver, get a shave.
tell you one thing, partner. This sure doesn't look like any sewage plant I've ever seen. It's an understatement of the year, Murphy. It's goddamn Fed Central down there. So what do we do now? We'll go to the morgue. Excuse me, the morgue? What the hell for? I want to find out what Lady Terminator wanted with that body. Shouldn't we just leave that stuff up to the lab, boys? Oh, come on, partner. They're dead. They're naked and some of them are female. We've done this before, I eat. so squeamish about. They're dead. <sighs> this place has a morgue on every floor. Even if we find the body, we still have to get the report. We've got to go see Sammy. That's the only lead I have on this case. All we want to see is the autopsy report. Just five minutes, that's all we need. Sorry, guys, no can do. As I said before, the feds have this thing locked up tight. That son of a bitch graver, is it? Look, Murphy, this one's out of your league. You know I could get in trouble just talking to you? Come on, Sammy, for old times' sake. I swear on my mother, it'll just take five minutes. That's all I need with the report, just five minutes. OK, Murphy, give me an hour. You mean you haven't done the autopsy yet? What? You know you guys have a monitor. Yeah, fine. Dr. Rubin, please call family practice. Please. Please call family practice. We got dead bodies everywhere. I can't get an autopsy report. I mean, what's going on? Who are you? What the hell are you doing here?
Good morning, Alexa. Did you sleep well? Are you hungry? I can have some food set up. Oh. I guess you haven't changed your mind about our offer, have you? Go to hell. I guess not. see you. And that's the way it's going to stay unless you cooperate. It's up to you. If you don't help us, I guarantee you, you'll spend the rest of your life in a maximum security prison. And you'll never see your daughter again. You bastard. is about to pay off. I knew you wouldn't let me down. It's a shame, though, about little Max. Ah, oh, well. Good thing I have five more brothers. Well, is there a problem? Sir, it just doesn't seem to be here. What the fuck are you talking about? It better be there. Got it. Isn't it ironic how something so small, so insignificant, can change the course of history? With the information contained in this chip, the rest of the world will finally take me seriously. Think of it. A nuclear weapon a hundred times more powerful than anything the Americans have. Every nation in the world will look to us as the one true superpower. Ah, yes. Dear old Gregory, when you volunteered for this job, I suppose you didn't realize you'd finish up in a body bag. <laughs> now get this stinking thing out of here. Yes, sir. Something wrong with your food? You haven't touched your dinner. Cut the small talk, Graver. I told you everything I know. The chip is in the body. If you want it, all you have to do is go get it. Well, that might be kind of difficult. You see, your buddy Mahler beat us to it. They broke into the morgue yesterday. They got the body, killed a cop in the process. So what? So, that means you're going in tomorrow. Why me? Can't the United States government just walk in there and blow Mahler's brains out? I mean, they do that all the time, don't they? It's not as easy as that. You see, Mahler is a guest in this country. He's a diplomat. Use of force against him could trigger a war. It's a delicate situation. So you think I can just walk back like nothing ever happened? 
He knows I've been arrested. He'll never trust me again. Just do it. What about my daughter? Once we get the chip in our hands. Just out of curiosity, how did you ever get hooked up with a guy like Mar? Why do you want to know? Well, I've studied your files and, uh... I was just wondering what, what made you tick. It's all I know how to do. You're supposed to be good. Let's see how good. How do you know I won't shoot you? I don't. Would you like some water? Thanks. Been stretching here for hours. I was just thinking about the past. The past can be a very scary thing to think about sometimes. I try not to think about it. Well, there's some things you just can't stop thinking about. Yeah. Things like not being able to tell your daughter what you do for a living. about me. I might not make it back. Let me see my daughter before I go. But you got a lot of explaining to do, Murphy. What in the hell you thought you were doing at that hospital? You got your own little private war going on, is that it, huh? You had no business at that hospital. And as far as I'm concerned, you are responsible for Benedetti's death. You better come up with some... You can't give a shit what you think. You better get the fuck out of my face!
My, my. What have we here? Shouldn't Alexa be getting ready for her little party tonight? I think you've gone too far this time. Get the girl out of here. Take her to our desert location. Immediately. You know, Graver, I'm only going to say this to you once. There is no room in this operation for your personal feelings. So I suggest you get them under control. You pull another stunt like this and your career is over. Or worse. Understood? Yes, ma'am. What is it now? Hold! Oh. Hold it up. It's private property, sir. You're gonna have to go around. I want a sentry posted there full time. That's all. He's secured. Fire is contained. Everything's all right. What cell is he in? On your monitor, camera number 18. Call his captain. What's his name? O'Neill. Call Captain O'Neill and tell him his man's going to be here a while. <laughs> I'll say one thing for him. He's one stubborn son of a bitch. Well, I'm glad you find this amusing, Graver, because frankly, I don't. He could jeopardize the entire operation. Hey, Graver, I know you're up there watching. You better get me out of here. Have a police officer. Oh, you're amused, huh? I got something for your amusement pleasure. I'll get on it right away. Don't bother. I'll handle this one personally. Uh, Graver, it's just about time for us to send your little girlfriend on her way. Do you think you can handle that without screwing it up? I'll try. Good. You have everything you need in that bag. Here's the keys. Don't worry about your daughter. She'll be well taken care of. Good luck. My ass kicked by a chick. You better behave yourself, detective. Or I'll have you put in a muzzle and a straitjacket. Now, what are you doing here? I'm sure by now you know this is a government facility. What I know is that you got that Rambo bitch here. 
Now, my partner's dead, and she's involved. I know she knows something about it. So I want to see her, and I want to see her now. Oh, you're not in any position to make demands, Detective. You may not realize this, but you're interfering in a very delicate operation. Now, we've spent a lot of time and money setting this up, and no over-the-hill flatfoot's gonna come along and blow it for us. Oh, yeah? So what are you gonna do? Kill me? That can be arranged. Mahler's been waiting for you. We've kept him waiting long enough. By the way, I'm very impressed. Now drop the gun, or I'll put a hole in your pretty little head. One scratch on me and Victor will feed you to the sharks. But if you insist, let's go on three. One. See if I got this straight. You're telling me that Mola killed my partner, that Alexa used to work for Mola, but now she works for you. So it's Mola that I'm after, not the girl. Exactly. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what I just said. Why are you telling me this? Because deep down, I think you and I are a lot alike. <laughs> well, that's terrific. So why don't you see about getting me out of here? I got a date with this Mola. Well, that's already taken care of. You see, once we get the chip, we'll have enough to put him away for good. Yeah, but if we do it my way, we'll save the taxpayers a hell of a lot of money. Sorry, I can't do it, Detective. If there's anything else I can get you, you let me know. I take it Muller's head on a platter would be asking for too much. <laughs> Let's see 
what I can do. what you wanted. Where's my daughter? She did her part. I think we should honor the bargain. I'm afraid it's not that easy. What if this is a fake? It's going to take time to get it authenticated. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to wait. Give me back Whoa. my daughter. Get her out of here. Get it. Mr. Muller. What? What is it? We trace the license plate number. And? The Porsche is registered to a Mr. Mark Graver, a supervisor for a sewage treatment plant. A sewage treatment? A sewage treatment plant? <laughs> what will the feds come up with next? Go there and watch for this Graver. I have a feeling he will lead us directly to my microchip. And Alexa. Look, it's just going to take a few days. Try to be patient. You're a liar. Why should I believe you? You're all the same. Damn feds. I want to see my daughter. And I want to see her now. Your daughter's not here. Where is she? They've moved her to another outpost. <laughs> I'll have her brought to you. When? A couple hours. You have my word. time do I have? One hour. Thanks. I've been examining this thing for the last few hours. Well, is it the real thing or not? You see here? That's a highly sophisticated version of a massively parallel microprocessor. In this case, I'd estimate it can crunch a trillion floating point operations per millisecond. That's the same kind of pattern recognition used in stealth bomber and SDI technology. No, I heard rumors we were developing something like this. I never dreamed it was possible. Yeah, yeah, very impressive. But is it the chip or not? The geodesic markings are unmistakable. Quite atypical. No other chip in the world has this schematic. It's the real McCoy, all right. What's so special about this thing? Well, ma'am, 
Its genetic engineering enables it to process and encode binary pulses generated by any interfacing source, rendering all existing weapon systems obsolete. Uh-huh. You want to run that by me in English? <laughs> Let me put it this way. If Mahler had successfully decoded the chip, he could have held the entire world hostage. Oh. Theoretically, of course. I see. Mommy, when will I see you again? Soon. Promise. Who's here? Tanya, welcome home. It's so good to see you. Maria! Where is Maria? Ah! Maria, take Tanya to her room and fix her some ice cream. Chocolate, right? Did you miss me? Get Alexa on the telephone for me. Right away, sir. We have a problem. Put him through. It's a Mahler. Alexa? Yes. Now that I have your attention, you bloody traitor. Let's get down to business, shall we? You have something I want. And now I have something you want. Don't touch her. What you do is bring me my microchip. Tom Bradley, LAX. Tomorrow, at 12 o'clock noon. Alone. Will we start playing target practice with your little bitch? Victor, please. You are such a great disappointment to me, Alexa. You were the ultimate weapon. Cold, brutal, perfect. And look at you now. Worthless. Remember, the clock is ticking. Oh, and don't worry about your daughter, Alexa. She'll be well taken care of. Blood likes little girls. Question. The agency will not be blackmailed. You're playing with a little girl's life. It's between the two of them now, Graver. The agency has nothing to do with it. If the agency is through with her, I should let Alexa go. We'll let her go when I say. She's still useful to us. I'm going for the girl. The only way you're going to stop me is by pulling that trigger. I got work to do. Hey, look, great. Now, this is all very impressive, but where are you taking me? I'm taking you up on your offer, man. Maybe. Meaning I got an appointment with Mahler. I need some backup. You interested? You bet your ass. I got something to show you. My, my, my. 
Christmas comes early, huh? Eeny, meeny, miny. You decided to come. Is Alexa here? Let's get it over with. Right to the point, as always. First the chip, set the case on the ground. Now stay right where you are. I gotta tell you, I don't like this. Hey, why don't we just go down and bust? Just take it easy, huh? When we lose that case, we're screwed, man. She's got a little backup. Why all the goons, Victor? I recognize at least ten of them. Just a precautionary measure. One can never be too careful. So that's the big man, huh? Yeah. I held up my end of the bargain. Now, where's my dog? My jet is waiting outside. I've decided to relocate permanently. Nobody make a move to I face. Put it away. My country is very scenic this time of year. You and Tanya will love it. Victor, don't do this. Let her go. We take off in five minutes, with or without you. It's up to you. Oh, and this time, you must leave your friends behind. Victor, wait. How do I know Tanya's all right? Oh, Alexa, you disappoint me. You really think I could hurt her? All right, as you wish. Vlad, come in, Vlad. Over. Go for Vlad. Put the girl on. Her mother wants to speak with her. 
Tanya? Now look, all I want you to say is hello to your mother. You got that? Tanya, are you there? Hey, what are you doing here? Don't worry about it. I'm security. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see some ID. Sure. Hey, come back here! Tanya! She's not here. Lud, what the hell is going on? Um, she got away momentarily. You idiot! Get her! What the hell is happening? someplace. A move. I'm looking for runway number five. I seem to be lost. This is a secured area. You don't belong here. Gunshots down here. Send security immediately.
Let it go. Let it go. That belongs to me. Thank you. You know, Graver, I don't approve of your methods, but you certainly know how to get the job done. But as far as I'm concerned, that's all that counts. I figured I was out of a job. What gave you that idea? Now, you two make a great team. I got big plans for you. It's over. 